Several projects are taking place to improve Rhode Island's roadways and bridges. Some of those improvements happening as early as tonight. 12 News reporter Chelsea Jones joins us now live off of Exit 23 in Providence, where we can expect some changes as early as tomorrow. Chelsea. Yeah, Mike, this is a busy time of night. This is when people are going home. And a lot of the times we see here at exit 23 people coming from the middle to far left lanes and trying to take this exit at the last minute. Well, that's not going to be the case anymore after tonight as barriers will now be here to stop those last minute decisions. This is the busiest stretch of highway in Rhode Island with more than 220,000 vehicles traveling here a day. Here at exit 23, where you see these white solid lines Friday, you'll notice the addition of cement barriers. Other improvements include the northbound lanes in the area of the Smith and Charles Streets overpasses shifting to the left. That construction will happen Friday. Changes for the southbound lanes will happen next week. This is all a part of the viaduct project. The Rhode Island Department of Transportation says will improve crippling congestion and prevent accidents and traffic delays. One project, though, is already complete two years ahead of schedule. That's the Route 10 North and Route 6 West flyover ramp. It'll be opening up Friday afternoon. And 10 bridges will also be included in this larger viaduct project. They will be reconstructed over the next couple of years. The entire project is set to be done in 2025. We're live in Providence tonight. I'm Chelsea Jones, 12 News.